Making mockups has always been one of the most unnecessarily long things to get done as a web designer, especially if you want those top tier pixel perfect mockups. I'd have to be downloading PSDs, then opening them up in Photoshop, then editing layers, resizing layers, and dragging things around, all for it just to um, crash when I try to export. Well, thank God those days are over because in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can create incredible mockups just like these in a matter of minutes and for absolutely free. From browser mockups to portfolio mockups to iPhone, iPad, MacBook, and even Apple Watch mockups, this tool has it all. And trust me, when I show you this, you're gonna be thinking to yourself, how is this free? So without further ado, my name's Hamza and let's get started. All right, so this is it. This is an app called Shots and you can access it at shots.so. Now, I just wanna put a quick disclaimer out there. At the time of recording this, this is completely free to use. But obviously, depending on when you're watching this, that might change, so just bear that in mind. So the first thing that you're gonna notice when you land on this app is how clean and how polished it is. Everything looks super clean, super minimal, and it looks really easy to use. And the whole app in general just feels really inviting. In terms of the interface, you can even come up to here and you can toggle between light and dark mode, depending on what you like. For me, I like dark mode, so I'm gonna to stick to that. Right, so let's start by giving you a quick overview of the whole app. So starting on this left-hand side, this is where you're gonna find most of the options and this is where you're gonna be doing most of your work in the app. So this left-hand side is split up into two tabs, mock-up, and frame. Mockup is everything inside of this black rectangle and this is where you're going to be dragging in your image and frame is everything outside of the mockup. So starting with the mockup tab, if we start from the top, this drop down here is what contains all of the different mockup types. So like I mentioned before, this app has a whole bunch of different types of mockups in, including phone, tablets, laptops, desktops and even watches. All right, so starting with styling, you can actually change the styling of the mockup itself. So you can change it to a stack, as you can see down here, or so you can toggle through all of these different options for you to give it a little bit of a different style. But for now, we'll leave that on default. Moving further down, you can change the border radius. So you can make the borders super curved or super sharp. And you can even use one of the presets that they give you down here. You can then, you can change the amount of shadow that is on the mockup itself. So if you look just below the mock-up you'll be able to see how much shadow is applied you can move that up or you can move that down or again you can use one of the presets that they provide then you can actually change the scaling of the actual mock-up itself so you can make it smaller you can make it bigger and you can even change the positioning of it on the canvas so you can move it to the right move it to the left move it up or move it down or if you want to get more granular with it you can even use these sliders down here and you can move it to the left or right or to the up and down and you can kind of make more fine adjustments there. Then you have this option down here to hide mock-up. I'm not entirely sure what you'd be using that for, but um, it's there anyway. Moving on to the frame tab, starting from up here, this is where you can actually set the actual dimensions for the whole canvas. So you can either use one of their presets, which they have loads of by the way, they have pretty much every single size that you can think of, even ones for social media. So you can even come down to make it the exact size for an Instagram post or for a story or for a tweet or even for like a YouTube thumbnail or a YouTube banner, they have pretty much all the sizes that you can think of. Or if you have a custom size that you need to do, you can just come up here and you can enter what size you need. Moving on further down, we have an option here for noise that just does what it says. It adds noise to the background. So if you come here to the background, you can see that adds some noise to it. Moving on further down, there is an option to make the background transparent in case you wanted to export it as a vector, or you can add an actual, you can add an actual hex code color to this in case you had a specific color that you needed the background to be, for example, to match your brand or something like that. Or you can actually come in here and you can add an image as the background. And then down here, we have something called magic backgrounds. Now, this is a really, really cool feature, but I'm gonna to touch on this when we do our examples. Moving on further down, they have a palette of various solid colors for you to use. So you can just choose one of these for the background or down here, and, and here's where it gets super interesting. They provide a whole bunch of various wallpapers for you to use as a background. And these are really, really, really beautiful. So starting with the gradients, you can kind of cycle through all of the different gradients and they have different types of gradients. So this one's called mystic gradients. And then they have radiant gradients and my favorite down here, which are the cosmic gradients. These are really nice as backgrounds, but let's create a couple of examples so that you can really see how powerful this is and how quickly you can create a really beautiful mock-up. 
So for the first example, let's imagine that I wanted to create a mock-up of a landing page that I did for a client and I wanted to show it off on my website. And instead of just plonking on just a screenshot of the landing page, let's make something really nice. All right, so firstly, let's go to Figma and let's export this example landing page. And then once we're back into shots, let's go ahead and choose our image from our desktop. So we'll drop our landing page and then by default, it comes in like this. But what we want is something different. So let's go over to up here and let's change the mock-up type. And let's change this to minimal desktop. And what that does is that gives us all these different various angles here that we can choose from on the right hand side. So let's go for this angle here and then let's change up the border a little bit. So let's make a little bit more round and let's change the mock-up positioning as well so that it's a little bit more in the middle now as you can see our original mock-ups come into this side but this side is empty so what we want to do is on this side we can actually choose the same landing page mock-up and it will show a different section of it which is a really really nice feature what we want to do then is let's go into frame and let's change up the background so what i was talking about before in terms of magic background so this is really cool so what this does is this will automatically analyze all of the colors inside of your mock-up and it will create an actual color palette based on that. And then what you can do is you can come in here and you can choose a background with that color palette. So it will automatically make these backgrounds based on your actual mock-up, which is really, really nice. And what you can do is even with this magic background is that you can take out colors from the palette that you don't want to be included. But what we'll do is we'll come down here and we'll choose one of the mystic gradients because these look really, really nice. So we'll come down here and let's choose this one, for example. And then as you can see, just like that, it's created a really beautiful mock-up for us. For the second example, let's imagine I've got a mobile app that I want to create an iPhone mock-up with. All right, so let's start by going to Figma and let's export both of our screens of our app. Just like that. And what we'll do for this one is we'll actually export our background as well and we'll upload a custom background into Shots as well. And then back in Shots, let's start by uploading our first screen, which is this one. And obviously by default, it's just going to come up as a screenshot. But what we can do is then we'll come over to this drop down menu up here under mock up and we'll change this to an iPhone 15 Pro Max. And just like that already, look at that, it's looking beautiful. But what we can do with the iPhone mock ups, which is really interesting, is that we can actually change the color of the actual iPhone, which is incredible. So let's change it to a black iPhone. And then on this right hand side where it has all of the different views, we can go through all of the different views and choose one with two phones since we have two images. So let's go with this one. We can then just click on this phone here and upload the second image and boom, just like that. We have a really, really beautiful mock-up right in front of us. And then lastly, we let's just go and add our custom background. So let's go to frame and let's go to image, choose image and choose our background. And look at that. Just like that, we've created a incredible mock-up in a matter of minutes and that is shots a truly incredible app that i think is being majorly slept on right now again it's completely free to use right now so go take advantage and give it a go if this video brought you any value i'd really appreciate a like and a comment and if you're interested in more content to do with web design and tech then please consider subscribing thank you for watching and i'll check you in the next one